Let's go over these three multiple choice questions about the light dependent reactions. Here's the easy one. What molecules split during the light dependent reactions? The reason why this is an easy question is it's just basically asking you, have you memorized what specific molecule breaks down at photosystem two? And that molecule is water. Water breaks down, donates electrons to photosystem two. It also produces hydrogen ions and oxygen as a byproduct. Here's the medium question. During linear electron flow, the final electron acceptor is blank. The reason why this is a little bit of a harder question is this term linear electron flow. Remember during the electron transport chain, the electrons are gonna move from photosystem two through the other electron acceptors to photosystem one, and they're gonna be dumped off to one specific molecule. That specific molecule is known as NADP. That's going to become NADPH, and that's one of the main products of the light dependent reactions. Here's the hard question. Which feature best explains how chloroplasts can maintain a proton gradient during the light reactions? Remember when we're talking about this proton gradient, we're talking about going from a high concentration to a low concentration. That is what that gradient is looking at. That's what that gradient's talking about. We're talking about how does this chloroplast achieve these two different concentrations? Let's go through our answers. A, presence of circular DNA. Well, the chloroplast does have circular DNA, but that doesn't really help here. B, the double membrane. That sounds like a good answer because membranes help us create these, you know, smaller spaces, but it's not really because of the double membrane. C, thylakoid compartmentalization. That sounds like the better answer here. Thylakoid compartmentalization is when the thylakoids are a lot smaller, they're compartmentalized, they allow us to create a high concentration very easily. I think that's the right answer. D, stroma filled with enzymes. That would be for like the light independent reactions, not for the light dependent reactions. That's out. And then E, large internal vacuole. No, we're not talking about vacuoles since they're not in the actual chloroplasts. This is why C is the right answer.